Welcome to Electra Online. In the previous video, we learned what a factor is. In this video, we're going to learn what a common factor is. A common factor is a factor that's common to two or more numbers. Here are the two numbers we're going to consider, 24 and 36. We're going to try to find all the common factors. That means we're going to find all the factors of 24, we're going to find all the factors of 36, and then the ones that are the same, those are the common factors. For 24, the factors are at least 1 and 24, and to find the other factors, we're going to take the number 24 and start dividing it by the lowest prime number, which is 2, because it's even. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. That's a prime number, so we're done. Now to find all the other factors besides 1 and 24, we're going to take at least all the numbers that appear here, which is 2 and 3. And then we're going to find all the other factors by multiplying any of the combinations together. 2 times 2, that's equal to 4, that's one of the factors. 2 times 3, that gives me 6, that's another one of the factors. Uh, 2 times 2 times 2, that's equal to 8, that's another factor. And we have one more combination, I believe, 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12, that's another factor. And now we have found all the factors, just to make sure we did. Let's line them all up in the order from smallest to largest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Now let's multiply. 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 6 is 24. We have found all of them. Those are all the factors of 24. Now let's find all the factors of 36 and then see which of the factors are common for both numbers. First of all, 1 and 36 are two of the factors. To find the others, we take the number 36 divided by 2, the smallest prime number, because it's even. We get 18. It's still even. We can divide it by 2. We get 9. Now we have to divide by 3, and we get 3. To find all the factors other than 1 and 36, we can take the numbers 2 and 3. Those are two factors, 2 and 3. And now whatever combination we can come up with, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 3, that's equal to 6. 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. And how about 2 times 2 times 3, that's equal to 12. And 2 times 3 times 3, that's equal to 18. All those are factors as well. Get the number 4, 6, 9, 12, and 18. Again, to figure out if we missed any of them, I don't think we did, but just in case, let's check them by lining them all up from smallest to largest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. And now we multiply the smallest times the largest. 1 times 36, that's 36. We move over. 2 times 18, that's 36. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. And finally, we have one number left. We square that number. 6 times 6 is 36. We found all the factors. Now, which of these sets of factors are common? Meaning, what is the same number? We have a 1 and a 1 here. So those are common. 1. We have a 2 and a 2. We have a 3 here and a 3 there. A 4 and a 4. We have a 6 and a 6. Here we have an 8, but it's not over there, so we can't use that. There we have a 9, but not over here. That's not common. We do see 12s and 24. We don't see that over there. These are the common factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, in the next video, we're going to try to find the largest common factor, but we can already see that would be easier to figure out. Once you have found all the factors, you can see that the largest common factor is the largest of the common factors. So this then here would become the largest common factor. LCF stands for largest common factor. In this case, that would be the number 12. There's some other techniques we can use, so let's go to our next video and see how we find the lowest the largest, not the lowest, but the largest common factor. But that's how we find the common factors. So let's continue on the journey to understanding what factors are 
and essentially how to find the largest common factor.